Okay. My name is Andrea Sierra. Um, I was invited to speak here at STXI to hopefully inspire you guys a little bit and to just like love yourself and to have a positive mindset with whatever happens to you guys in life. And before I talk to you guys a little bit about my story, I'd like to mention a couple of things that I've noticed about our community and society that I think should change. Um, so as many of you guys know, our population here in the Valley is mainly made up of um, Hispanics, from neighboring country. And so we have many of the same values that they have and we get many of the good things that come from Mexico, such as the culture, the food, the language, the being family oriented, all those good things. But along with that also comes some negative aspects of the culture. I mean, machismo does exist here in the Valley due to our influence from Mexico. Uh, men expect women to look or dress or act a certain way. And it's, it's reality, it's, it happens here in the Valley. It, it's something that was influenced from our culture, our neighboring country, Mexico. And not only that, but we live in such a small community that we're only exposed to seeing so much of like one culture that whenever we see something different, we or I don't know, we stare them down or we, we see them as outcasts sometimes. And so we all, have, we all have that tia that when we go out and we see somebody that's different, she stares at them down, right? And I mean, those tias can't keep their eyes to themselves and we all know what they're thinking about and <laughs> we all know they can't keep their thoughts to themselves. But anyways, they're very indiscreet. <laughs> But um, that's, that's her culture here in the Valley. And it's, it's that, it's not being as exposed to diversity, which I think is something that should change, that mentality. Um, in today's society also, uh, I think that people change their appearance due to that feeling of being outcasted. There's so many people getting surgeries nowadays, it's so common. We see it every day on social media. You guys are teenagers, you guys see it every day on social media. And we're expected to look a certain way and we push ourselves to look a certain way or we think we need to change ourselves because we see some form or figure of some beautiful model that probably isn't even real herself and we're we feel like we need to look a certain way because that's, that's what society teaches us. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about how I had to learn the hard way of like loving yourself because no matter how hard or how many times you get surgery to change yourself, you will never reach perfection because perfection doesn't exist. So it's better to just love yourself the way you were born or the way you are, accepting yourself for who you are and not based on your appearance, I think is what really matters. And I had to learn that the hard way. Um, before getting cancer, I used to enjoy um, modeling as a child. And here, there were some pictures here. This is me. Uh, I was like 12, 13 years old, and I, I, would, I enjoyed modeling, and I think I would gain my confidence off of that. I liked the way I looked in the pictures, my appearance. It was a very shallow kind of confidence that I had. Like, I enjoyed modeling, but I enjoyed the way I looked more than anything. That's where I got my confidence. I, I would have considered myself to be a pretty confident person, but that was all tested last year when I was diagnosed. Oh, here. Here's some other pictures of, yeah, okay. okay. Here's some other pictures of when I was like a teenager, when I modeled. Yeah, but that was all tested last year when I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a type of cancer that is common among teenagers. I didn't even know what that Hodgkin's lymphoma was until I got it. But it's, it's 
a type of cancer that's common among teenagers and I had to receive chemotherapy and due to that treatment my appearance changed completely. Here you guys can see I have no hair. <laughs> um, so my confidence was tested. <laughs> I didn't look the way I looked before. I didn't come out of the pictures the way I looked before. And so I had to find my confidence somewhere else. I, I didn't feel like myself anymore because that confidence was gone. I would look at myself in the mirror and it wasn't the same person anymore. It didn't look like myself. But it took me a while to realize that that's not what really matters. The appearance is not what really matters. And I kind of had that realization when I took this trip to Austin. And when I was in Austin, I, I realized I felt so much more comfortable looking the way I did or not wearing a wig because whenever I was here in the valley and I lost my hair, I felt obligated to feel, to wear a wig. That way people wouldn't stare at me like those tias that stare at people. I didn't want people treating me any differently or I didn't want people like looking at me, looking at me with pity because I know how the valley is and I know how the valley is like kind of indiscreet about staring at people. So I didn't want that. And so I felt obligated to wear a wig. You guys know how hot it gets here in the valley and I would have to go out and like in this heat wave and wear those wigs. Like I would go out of my way just to appear normal and to fit in. But that, I kind of like had this like moment of realization when I took this trip to Austin and I realized that I felt so much more comfortable going without a wig while I was in Austin because like people were so much more open-minded and less judging. And once I had that trip, I realized I wanted that for the valley. I wanted to have people be that open-mindedness and I wanted to be that free of not having to wear my wig. I wanted to have that freedom. And so once I came back, I slowly, but surely, um, went without wearing my wig and I was like, okay, I'll try this. And that's when one day I decided to have a photo shoot that, uh, oh, that was me like when I wore my wig. You guys can't even tell it's a wig, right? Like, that's how much I would like be like, oh, I, can't, I have to be normal. I can't, you can't tell it's a wig. So, yeah, that's a wig, you guys. That's a wig as well. I had like 12 different wigs. And that's me without a wig and without half of my face without makeup and half of my face has makeup. And there was a point where I was like, okay, you, like, I want to just like liberate myself. I want, I don't want to care anymore. Like I, it was such a big weight on my shoulders. So that's when I had the photo shoot and this photo shoot to inspire other girls that are going through the same thing that feel the need to wear a wig, that it's okay. Like to just be bald. It's okay to be different. It's okay that cancer change the way you look, that's fine. Because regardless of, like, like I said before, I was a confident girl before, why should I not be confident anymore? And it shouldn't be based on appearance, it should be based on what's inside. That's what I really realized. Because I, when I would look at myself in the mirror, it wasn't the same person I was looking at, but it was the same person inside. And that's what really matters. And that's the message I wanted to transmit in this photo shoot. And after that, I got so many positive responses after that. I was on BuzzFeed, I was on Teen Vogue, and I mean, I think the success that came from that was mainly because of that positive attitude of taking something that is like difficult and something that to many is hard and making it into something positive and trying to learn something from it and just trying to you know, like share something with other people. That's, that's why I think it had such a good response. And I was also in the doctor show. <laughs> that's it. It was also in the doctor show and I got to share my story. And I think that's, that's why mainly it's been such a huge success. And what I've been trying to get at with not only people that have cancer, but other people is that you shouldn't be basing your beauty or your confidence off of the way you look. Like regardless, any difference that you have, it, you should embrace it and you should 
learn to love it because what I would help would help me overcome that fear of going out was you know what I'm gonna embrace being bald I'm gonna go out there and own it so I think that you can apply anything to that to anything like if you wear a hijab and you're scared to go out there and wear it because people stare at you I think you should own it if you are african-american and you have dark skin I think you should own it if you wear a turban, I think you should own that. If you are a boy or a girl who wants to wear clothes of the opposite sex, you think, I think you should own it. Like whatever you do, do it with all of your heart and just embrace your differences. Thank you. <laughs>